The Osceola is turkey. It's found only in Central and South Florida. We need to do everything we can to make sure that particular subspecies of turkey has all the habitat they can possibly have. Today's project is at the Green Swamp Beast Wildlife Management Area. This habitat enhancement is 400 acres. My name is Mark Maggard. I'm a land management specialist with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Hey Kenny, hey, man. How how's it going today? All right. We're working on this project in conjunction with the uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and the NWTF, which is the National Wild Turkey Federation. So we come in and we do mechanical treatment, which means we use roller choppers or mulchers or mowers. What we face here in land management is woody encroachment, which basically means we have undesirable trees and shrubs that kind of take over these natural landscapes. Mechanical fuel treatment helps knock down some of that woody encroachment and also opens up the understory. It gets rid of the saw palmetto overcast and it helps the native grasses grow and the longleaf pine regeneration. It helps the turkey population because wild turkey need a specific habitat in order to thrive. Turkeys are great because they're kind of an indicator species of how your local ecosystem's doing. So if there's a pine flatwood there, there should be turkeys there in Florida. They need these pine flatwoods not only for nesting, but for foraging and for cover. They're very susceptible to predation, so they need a certain amount of openness uh, to be able to see oncoming coyotes, bobcats, and even eagles. But they also need a little bit of cover to hide. These projects are made possible because funds are made available through the National Wild Turkey Federation for agencies just like us, and it's our partnership with them and with FWC. It's through those relationships we have with them that we are able to do the land management projects that we are able to accomplish in a given year. Once this phase of the project is complete, the district will come back in and follow up with the prescribed burn. And what that does is it eats up all those fuels that have been knocked down by the mechanical treatment. It just opens up the understory once again to the native state that we like. Working with NWTF is great. I really admire the work they do, all the money they raise throughout the states and through their local chapters and their events. All that money turns around and goes straight back into the woods. They understand the importance of habitat management and it's something that we cherish and respect as well. And I'm proud to be a part of restoring these woods back to the state that we want them in.